Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or good evening, good night, whatever time of day you watch it. Retro Rewind here, Clint, as um, those who know me know. Um, right, pickups, pickups for September, October. Obviously, I do every two months now. Back in the day, I would do it every month because you just buy so much, so much every month. Don't buy as much anymore now. The addiction is slowly, slowly running out my veins. Um, it says as the uh, picked a parcel that's been at the uh, post office for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but I always have the same post lady. She knows if we're not in, she'll ring the doorbell, no one in, straight in the back garden, puts the um, parcel in the playhouse. Lovely. Don't know what's happened to her. Got this, this guy came, postman came, and... Uh, Never used a ring, just not. So he's come twice. Didn't leave the parcel. Didn't leave a neighbour or anything. So I had to go pick it up this morning um, to get my October pickup so I could finish my September October pickup so I could film. Right. I got stuck to the right of me, stuck to the left of me, um, showcasing uh, one of the pickups um, or some pickups here to the left of me. To your right. Yeah, you're right, my left. Um, I picked up pick up this morning. This is a November pickup cappuccino from the top of the hill. Nice little cafe there. Mm. Next to the post office, so I thought, why not treat myself? Payday yesterday it was, so payday coffee. Right, I have got mixture, all sorts in the media. Media, I've got um, I've got books, I've got CDs. I ain't got CDs. Ah. Oh! I've missed one of my I've missed my films. Do you know what? I'm gonna do a Marcus Dad's Lad gaming. I'm not gonna go off camera because if I left it run out of one dad's it. I'm gonna stop recording now and go get them. So I'm back, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, I ran downstairs and back upstairs because one of them's downstairs. Right. Draw attention to this side. What we'll do first is I got some VHS pickups. One of them I actually picked up this morning, but technically I bought in October. Right, first off, this is what I took to post office for. Believe it or not, I said I was done buying Back to the Future VHS collections, but I saw this. I got it for a cheeky £5 offer, and it is a variant I don't own. So I might do a little cut to video to show what I've got up there. I thought I had two variants already up there, but what it is is the same variant, but you could take the... the um, VHS and turn around, it's a different side. So I thought I had two variants and actually they're the same. But yeah, this one, I haven't seen... Do you know what? I haven't seen this one pop up on eBay. I've never seen it when looking. And uh, they all look brilliant. Yeah. They all look... All the tapes are all... They all look immaculate. Like, never being touched. And the boxes... I, I see a couple of them when I had a look. When I... Obviously, now and again, I'll search... Excuse me, Back to Future... Trilogy VHS because I like collecting them. So the box is in really good condition. None of the tapes have got any. Um, one of the boxes has got a little broken corner on it, but I can see why because it's got a slight dent there where it's been dropped or something. It might be a slight sun fade, I don't know, but hey, it's another one from the collection up there. I've got about four or five. So that was it. I picked that one up. I thought, why not for a fiver? Why not? Um, I've been after one of these for ages. I've been after the VHS of this for ages and I missed out on a couple. I think I bought one and it never turned up off Vinted and the guy refunded me. So I was good about that. But if you look closely, you can see it's now signed because I bought it. And then I went to those who follow, who follow my channel will know I did a, uh, if you watch one of my vlogs, I went to Nottingham to see a... Um, Ninja Turtle Q&A, so he got to watch the film and the director was there, because he's English, and he was there, and then he did a um, a Q and a like I just said, and it was a fantastic night, got to watch Turtles and got, and he signed, didn't even charge you for his signature, I bought his book, which I'll show you, so I thought I took the cover with me, I got that cover signed, and I got my Blu-ray um, signed as well, so a VHS pickup, Um what did I get? I got three, some guy put on Facebook on one of the uh, VHS collecting groups, some VHSs to sell. So I bought three, yeah, I bought three of him for stupid money. I think it was something like, 
I don't know, with carriage, with three VHS tapes. I think it was about a tenner all in. One of them was this, Friday. What a great film. If you haven't seen this film, your life is not complete. You need to see this film. Damn! Uh, today's word is job. J-O-B. Oh, what, what a film. What a film. You have to see that. Very good. Um, and I got Quadrophenia as well. Nice classic film. I thought, I get that, why not? But what else was it? Was this bad boy? Lost Boys. I do own this. This is the um, re-release. I believe 92 re-release. Uh, I've got the original one up there from, you know, obviously the 80s release, 90s release. And the reason why I picked this up, obviously a different variant, but I picked it up because if I open up and show you, it is still sealed. I thought, why not? Who, who, who loves a variant? I know I love a variant. Even, in fact, actually, I love variants that much. I collected loads of masters of variants, didn't I? Sort of feel them on now. Anyway, so, and the reason why I had it here, look, in there like that, look, because I had uh, this made up. So I've got two of these made up, one for big box VHS and one for small, normal standard VHS or resale. VHS. I know it's a bit of a gimmick, but I thought it was quite cool just to, when I come in here and, and watch a video, I put this on the side, near, near the TV, and it's some kind of, I don't know, I don't know, just a bit of a gimmick, really. And, uh, yeah, so I got that made and all good. And my little, uh, those who are watching my vlog, this is the uh, the uh, bit I chopped off the unit behind me in the corner, and I'm, I, I kind of now using it. It's next to me. It's next to my other pickup. I'll show you in a minute. I kind of left it here because it's kind of a nice little table. I've got me uh, got some strawberry lace sweets under here and all sorts. I'm just putting stuff under it. And it's a nice little unit to. Yeah, it takes a bit of room up. I say what, I'll I'll put over to the other pickup, and that was. Ugh, there you go, a chair and a stool. I've been after a, a replacement in B-Bag for years and I bought this, I'm not on camera, am I? Is that better, Dad Lad Gaming? Marcus, is that better, I'm on camera? So I got the chair, 85 quid. It was five mils up the road, because I, I said I was going to go to a Ikea and it's going to cost me 85 for the chair and, no, it's 115 for the chair, actually, in that colour and 40 for my finger for the stool but mrs like oh I'll just go on marketplace and have a look so i've been going on marketplace and having a look and then also this one just popped up five mile up road i thought you know what 85 quid i'm having that all day long and it's so comfy that i actually sat and played played just video games or games for three hours straight on saturday night I had a couple of beers Chilled in here, and it's the most of a game, so that chair was definitely a winner worthwhile pick up. One of the best pickups, I would say, over the last couple of months. And now I'm starting to talk faster and faster because I am caffeine sensitive. Not as bad as it used to be, but yeah, I was now talk at a lot faster speed. So maybe I should slow down just for you guys. Right, so that is VHS tapes done, I believe. Yes. Um, I tell you what, we'll jump on to the next one was... I got sent the YouTuber uh, community box. So if you watch, if you see, if you haven't seen it, if you go back, I want to play this. Basically, I got sent this big box uh, from who sent it, who had it for me. Oh, Ollie, a bit boy Ollie, you know, that big giant of a man, you know, six foot five, 20 stone of muscle. He sent it to me and basically you get the box um, if you don't know about it, you basically open it up and it's all sorts inside it. You take some items out. It's up to you, one or ten. You take something out and then you put something back in and then you pick someone and send it on um, and so forth. And this parcel has gone round quite, for quite a few years and I think it went missing at one point and someone started it again. So really good thing. And what I got out of it was two items. I got a Switch game. I've got a Switch game. I am playing Space Switch. In fact, the missus had a week off work and she went away for the week and I was going to play the Switch and film me playing for all three of the games. But for some reason, I talked into her taking it with her so she could play on another date. And guess what? She never played it. And I got um, number two of four. 
of this Aliens comic. And yes, right now in my watch on eBay is the rest of these to pick up. I try not to buy though, but I'll put them in there to remind me to pick them up. I hope I'm not talking too fast for you guys. So that was what I got out of the community box, which I thought was a fantastic idea. Uh, there's other things in there I could have picked up. There's a lot. It's really cool because everything in there covered from, I would say, 80s to now. Of everything to do with video gaming and stuff. It was a right good mix up in there. Um, so, right. Um, oh. I picked up this. I'm going to pick up another one. I picked up a uh, sticker album, Super Street Fighter 2. And in my, on my eBay at the minute, I have got a few of the Street Fighter sticker books in my watch. Because I feel fancy picking up both of them. I just thought it's a bit of a gimmick to have. I've got it just uh, literally popped up over there with me with my SNES stuff. I just thought it's a nice little pick up. Just something from the your old childhood days. I love collecting. Because like at the minute, we're collecting... Um, stickers for blue and let's say we as in my daughter april ray we got her a, um, a sticker book blue sticker book i love blue such a good cartoon Re one of the best cartoons a kid can watch say all the rest of the stuff rubbish um but really good and what we do is we've bought a big giant multi-pack of stickers and every time she's been a good girl and done something we we give her a pack of stickers and then we sit down and stick them in it's sort of like that it's, it's a nice little nice thing to do Right, I'm going to jump on to Super Nintendo. Um, I've realised I've picked up the wrong game off the shelf. I've picked up... I meant to pick up that game, not that game. I picked up a game that I didn't mean to pick up, obviously. I picked up that one. Sorry, Marcus, don't like gaming. I'm still on camera. Um, so I've got three games. Got a heavily dropping Marcus on my phone. Don't like gaming. It's not like he needs name dropping. Um... I've got, I'm trying not to yawn because that's why I've got the coffee because I want to yawn because apparently Retro Street Steve commented in, in my, one of my Choose Determined Tears and says apparently he owns yawning on YouTube. For every time I yawn, I owe him £5.50. So I'm not going to yawn. Right, so we got three games. Obviously, I slowed down on it, but I did the £50 a month uh, mission for Super Nintendo. And I believe I've got... Kind of what I need from that kind of thing. Yes, I still got a load of loose cards down there still. Uh, two of these I had on carts loose, and I thought I'm gonna get them both unboxed. I'd sold a few things. I tell you what I'll do to cut to this. I haven't got them on here, so I'm gonna put a picture on here right now. I did a Facebook pickup thanks to Jono. He messaged me placing a guy engaged with selling some masses and stuff. All I wanted one from it was the manual for Masters of Darkness to complete my Masters of Darkness um classic no sorry standard because i'm a classic when i did it and that really cemented me as a full wanker full set wanker shall i say um so i sold a few things on i traded a few things in and i oh know i got cash for the master system stuff but that's what the pickup was for this one I'm, I'm, it's coffee it's getting to my head um i sold a few things I um, obviously I swapped some uh, mega drive one for my two i bought mega drive one which is down there did i pick that up here uh, can't remember pillow. Did I pick it up September? I can't remember. But anyway, I sold. God, let me catch my breath. Where I am? I sold a Mark II and loose carts to CX to get vouchers. I had some money, and it was enough to pick up these two boxed. And I think I did very well with them. So I got Mortal Kombat one and two. So they're still in the boxes. But Mortal Kombat one. I know the box makes it look better than it is, but actually it is that good. It's really, really good condition. I was really surprised how mint that is. That must have come from someone who's owned it for quite a while. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is a bit rough around the edges. Obviously, both black boxes, so they really do share, share show the wear and tear around the sides. But I got those two as part of my SNES pickups um, because I'm not doing the £50 a month anymore. What I'm doing now is... I'm not trying to get fodder anymore or replace those. I'm buying the games I know I want in my collection and try not to be an, ad ad an addict and buying everything. So I picked those two up, which was a fantastic pickup. Right? That was good because he got rid of two loose carts as well. And I do 
realise I'm speaking too fast at the moment, so let's do another na name drop. Um, Generation Pixels, is it? Is that his name? Scotch Lad. What's his name? Scotch. I'm allowed to say Scotch Lad, aren't I? Because I've, I've got Scotch in my family, my mum's side, so I'm allowed to call them Scots. What's his name? I've forgotten his name now. Stuart. Stuart. Is it Generation Pixels? I would say it is, but he says I talk too fast. He's mentioned it. He says I need subtitles. I need subtitles. Who Scots need subtitles? Anyway, um, Xeno Crisis. Uh, I picked that up. Yes, it's in a box set, so it's very shiny. Me and Ollie, another name drop, 8 Bit Boy UK. Um, go over and watch his channel. So. We played this at Blackpool a year ago, and I keep telling myself I was going to get it. And every time I, went, I was like, I had someone to one side to get it, it sold out. And then uh, another name drop, uh, Pedro, 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 as I like to call Pedro. Um, yes, he's on YouTube, but doesn't do much. He uh, messaged me and goes, oh, they're back in stock. So I quickly jumped on it and bought that, and what a fantastic game that is. Definitely worthwhile picking up. I know it's on multiple consoles now. It's on, like, everything, and it's, yeah... And to be fair, it's best played on the Super Nintendo because it's like, um, especially the, the, the buttons are the directions you want to shoot in. So yeah, definitely the best on the Super Nintendo. So that's, that's SNES games um, picked up. Obviously, I'm not buying my system anymore, but, but, he says, I picked up, I was on Vinted and I was looking, it's not very often I get on Vinted, I can't remember what I was looking for. And these popped up, Mark Three, two Mark Three games, sorry, one's in a box set set. So these come up and it was the same buyer and I pressed on it and it said um, multiple items for discount. And I thought, ooh. So I did both and, and did an offer and I got, both, I got them for 20 quid delivered. For the pair. I know they're not all singing or dancing amazing games. And I don't own them. The Mark III. And I'm not going down the Mark III hole of um, collecting them. Like um, Zanoni and another name drop there. Zanoni and Ollie. They're both collecting them. And I'm not. So I've only got three. Because I own. I can't remember which one. Is it Alien Syndrome? I think I own. And the only reason I own that is because Ollie had a spare. And I just. Boil it off him, cheap, makes rates and all that. So, yeah, so those for 20 quid, which I thought, why not? You know, why not? So I picked them up. <sighs> My coffee's really got to me. I do apologise for super speed. Right, it's rough around the edges. And, yeah, look, Mo Wonder Boy and Monsterland. Look out, look, it's rough around the edges. It's all sort of ripped. The case is knackered. There's no manual in it. Um, and I've been after this for a while, actually, for a reason. If you can, if I'll zoom, let me take it out. If you can zoom in and see, get it out of my face. Come on, focus. I don't think it's going to focus, is it? Focus. It's not going to focus. It says Super Wonder Boy, Super Monster Land. So, obviously, it's another variant cart out there, and it's just a bit of a gimmick. I thought, do you know what? I got it, and I think what I'm going to do is, um, I've already name-dropped him. Zanoni, he has the cart as well, but he's such a, he does all the... Oh, you can't see, I've got some games so that just down here, behind this. A lot of his, he, he likes to do his mod carts and uh, create his own... Uh, artwork and sell some games and i've got a few of them he's made a super wonder boy cover and made his own case so he's i said to him can you make me one and he said he will uh i said i'll pimp i'll pimp ollie out to him if he just make me one so yeah you know god and own ollie so that i picked that up um what's next um amstrad i picked up three games for the amstrad slow pickings I could be, um, I could pick up more for the Amstrad Hit Squad. I've got about five in my watch listing on eBay, but they're all expensive. They're from 40 to 90 quid. And I don't really want to go down that line spending that kind of money on the Hit Squad. I know some of them are rare and worth, worth money. I missed out on one. My mate Kev, mainly my system, he's been collecting them. He, he sent me a link. He goes, oh, look at this, Clint. 
someone's put this game in a bundle. And it's like a 30, 40 quid game. And it was in like a 12 quid bundle or something. And I kind of went, I'm not buying anything for a minute. And I was really busy at work. And I got home and I thought, oh, I'll buy that bundle. Someone beat me to it. So I was gutted. I missed out on a, on a hit squad game. Anyway, yeah. So there's a few of them games. Just fucking coffee sends me wappy. My missus is in for a treat when she gets home. So you're going to be like, fuck's sake, you've had a coffee, haven't you? Um, so I got, um, I had got it because of the cartoon, growing up on the cartoon. And that is Braveheart, um, Kicks variants. I've got a few Kicks variants over there now. I've got about 10, 12, but I'll go down that hole. So yeah, I've got uh, Braveheart, uh, Braveheart, Bravestar, 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 yes. Maybe I should edit that bit out. So yeah, picked up that. I can't remember what it was. A few quid. I thought, I'm having that bad boy in my collection. I like to pick up uh, cartoons and films uh, for the Amstrad. I got um, Renegade 3, which is a quite a pricey one. And I got it a lot cheaper than I've seen it for. And it's shit. <laughs> I played this as part of the Hit Squad Sunday. And it was a, a weird game. Yeah, weird. So Target Renegade and Renegade are both really good beat em ups. This one just went left field. Bit bit weird. And I picked up another one, which was good about because it's it's not in very condition. It's quite damaged and I didn't see it. But this was one of those ones, you know, where on eBay has a, a picture of loads of games all over and you have to select which game you want. That was the only picture it had, and I spotted the hit squad in it. And I was like, oh, it's a hit squad game. So I bought it, but there's no pictures of it. So, and that I'm talking and showing you. So it's a tubing. Is it tubing? Tubing. Um, and yeah, when I got it, I didn't realise someone, some idiot had punctured the cover. Uh, they punctured some holes. There's two holes there where cassette tape, obviously, the they've obviously put it in the wrong way and it's fucking punching through that. You know, kids. Kids are stupid, aren't they? Kids are dicks. So yeah, so... So I picked up two hit squads. Um, I think I probably need about 20 for the collection now, which I don't think I'll ever get. I sure I said that about the mass system, but I think they're rarer. I think the 8-bit microcomputer games are a lot rarer. I think a lot of them were thrown out when people moved houses and parents and that, just found them and binned them and all that. Uh, we'll go on the cassette, keep with the cassette theme. Uh, I picked up two... Uh, Two more mo movie. I've got a little collection of cassette tapes, of movie cassette tapes. And what I picked up is, it's a bit of a theme here, really, actually. Funny enough. You'll see it as we go along. There's a bit of a theme. So I picked up um, Footloose and Ninja Turtles. So when I say theme here, you can see I've picked up a VHS of this. And you'll see in a minute. So, yeah, two cassettes for... Um, for my little audio movie, because um, in the window I've got a load of movie CDs I've collected over the years, and now I seem to be getting a few of the uh, cassette tapes. Another roll I've found myself going down. I try to put stuff to one side so I'm not repeating myself. Um, Stu, is he on YouTube? I don't think Stu's on YouTube. Stu is a mass system collector as well. Um, of other sorts he he reached out um in the group we're in and said he'd just been to his parents house and found these there's these two and ghostbusters and his miss his sister sorry kept she kept ghostbusters for a jukebox apparently that's pretty cool on jukebox does anyone want these and i was like fuck yeah yeah turtles again i love them i love them and do you know what he wouldn't even take any money for them i said no let me give you some money didn't even wouldn't even give me oh blah 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 blah, 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 blah. Wouldn't even let me pay for posters and packaging. What a guy. What a guy. Um, so, yeah. So, I got them off him. I thought, how cool. Um, we we'll jump to... As I said, I went to... Uh, not going to watch that Turtles with a QA and a with Steve Barron. I picked up his book. I thought it'd be rude not to buy his book if I'm getting into the science stuff for me. So, I haven't got around to reading this yet, but I am going to. It's on my hit list of books I've got to read. I've got a few books I want to get through. So, um yeah, like games. Don't get enough time to play. God, we're 22 minutes in. I'll tell you what, if I didn't talk so much after this coffee, I probably would have got this filmed in 10 minutes. So, yeah, so I picked that up. Um, I think it was a tenner. I thought, you know, I thought it was pretty good for a book. 
Right, I'm going to do a double, double one with it. Right, I'm going to go, D no, yeah, I'm going to go DVDs. DVDs, yeah. I haven't bought many DVDs for a while now. I went through a bit of a uh, panic attack of wanting to add all the films I didn't have on DVD because I had quite a lot on the, um, I thought I owned and it won. It was, um, I have a case with loads of copied films back in the day. So when I thought I reached I, the proper copy, I didn't own one. Copy, 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 copy. I think I need to stop drinking that coffee now. So I picked up two. I swear I had in my collection and I didn't. So I was a bit embarrassed about it. And that was uh, Bloodsport and Cobra. This one. Yeah, this this still fetches good money. It can go for a ten. I think even CX sell it for about ten quid. So I got Bloodsport. Yeah, fucking great film. Great film. I nearly watched it last night, but I watched um, Willy Wonderland with Nicolas Cage. Honestly, I don't understand why that's got like 5.5 on IMDb because it is corker. It's such a great film. It really made me laugh because Nicolas Cage doesn't even talk in it. And it was, oh, it's brilliant. And obviously, yeah, Cobra, it's got, uh, it's a bit pinkish, a bit sun faded, but a few of mine are sun faded out there. And it's the old clamshell. Can you remember the old clamshell uh, ones? It's got, a, it's not the best condition, but it was like four quid or something. And I thought, I love that. And I watched it as soon as I got it. What a great film. I bought this DVD for my daughter to watch. Um, it's quite, it's, if you look into it, it's got quite a sad uh, sad theme to it in a way. And that is, all dogs go to heaven. And the reason why, is, I say, it's got a bit of a sad sad bit about it. The, the girl there, obviously is a cartoon character, the voice of her, uh, was killed by her dad, I think, but actually, before the film came out, she was killed um, by a dad before the film came out. So it's very sad. Um, but I remember watching this as a kid and I thought my daughter might quite like to watch it. So I bought it and she she did enjoy watching it as much as I did. I think she's turned off so far. For her. And then I realised I was sat on the floor playing with Lego, building Lego and uh, watching that at the same time. So that's the DVDs. I picked up a 4K so I am starting to look at 4Ks now, and there is certain ones I want. And I've been after this one since I saw it come out, and I was like, I'm having that. <sighs> Just for the steel book look of it, and it is a lovely steel book, and that is Footloose, and I love the cassette. It's really cool. I really do like that. It's got the cardboards glued to it, so you can peel that up. It's got that, you know, that glue under it where it just comes off. So I picked that up. That was on Vinted. Um... 20 i got it on offer i got it for 20 or 25 quid and i see that i think it was like 40 quid 45 quid when it came out and i see them sell anywhere between 30 and 40 quid on ebay so very happy to get that anything else i've missed right we'll finish with the last item i believe i missed anything else and that is that bad boy footloose vinyl so a bit of a theme and for you uh there you go. Sexy, sexy planes. Mmm, sexy man there for you. Um, yeah, so I picked up this. Funny enough, I've got it on, <laughs> I've got it on laser disc up there. And um, I was like, have I picked up, I'm a minute, have I picked up laser disc? I have. Have I? I picked up the laser disc when I meant to have picked up the soundtrack. I think I have. Hold on a minute. Let me pause. Told you that copy sent me wild. There it is. I picked up my bloody laser disc one. I was like, hold on a minute. I can't remember the sexy man bit. I'm sure I've said that before in one of my pickups, and that was the last one. So yeah, so I got <laughs> vinyl. Um, this was on Vinted. I nearly picked up Top Gun and this from the same buyer, but I didn't really. I was like, do I really want Top Gun? The only reason I got this because obviously I know Top Gun's one of my favorite films, but I really, it's just. I don't know, it cemented my collection because now I've, I own this on vinyl, cassette tape, which, funny enough, I got down that. Yeah, yeah. And I've got it on CD. I've got, I've got the film on DVD. I've got the film on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray and 4K. So, yeah, obviously I'm a bit of a fan of Footloose. So, so there, that is it. That is... Everything I believe. Hold on a minute. Just realised that's still their own box. I picked up Jaws, obviously. 
Oh, I got the I pre-ordered this and got this to um got this as soon as it came out and I just I ain't got around to building it yet because I'm looking at the Lego collection over there. I, there's nowhere for it to go. I mean, something's gonna have to be um retired to the attic and the re I have a retirement uh, section in the attic of Lego. I've got boxes and boxes upstairs. Uh, upstairs, obviously upstairs, because it's fucking attic. It's upstairs, isn't it? It's not fucking downstairs, it'd be a basement. Excuse me. That coffee's really sent me whappy. Um, oh, it's so strong. So, yeah, so I picked up that. Still need to get round to sitting down and building that with April Ray, because I know she loves doing the sets for me. Excuse me. So, yeah, that is it. So, that's a good coverage, I hope. What well, I think collectively, because I've been stopping it, it's probably half an hour. I mean, jibber jabbering on. Um, I believe that is everything. I'm looking around. Is there anything else I've missed? Because, you know, always you film and then you're like, I've missed it. But no, I think that's a proper, proper pickup. So when I say pickup, a really good mixture. Really good mixture across the board. Because obviously you've got VHS, vinyl, DVDs, games, comics. It's a it's a proper mismatch of, uh, of a collection. So, uh, mm. let's go coffee. Um... Yeah, what I've got to say is thank you very much if you made it to the end of me, end of this video of me just jibber jabbering on. I do appreciate you stopping by, as always. And uh, is there anything key you can point out in this pickups that you would buy yourself or you own in your collection? Or would you say, why the fuck did you pick that little Klim? You knob. That's fine. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate some feedback, as always. I think my addiction is slowly whistling down and I only need to pick up a little bit a month now just to you know just to just to top me up, keep keep me fresh. Um but yeah, no, that's it. Thanks very much. And uh all those people are name dropped of YouTube channels. If they do, go watch them. And um yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take it easy.